let's focus a little bit more on string literals. And some of this will be review based upon what we just saw. Um, remember a literal, we had like uh, numeric literals where you had a number uh, that didn't have any kind of decimal point. By default, that's an int literal. If it has a decimal point, by default, it's a double. Or if you had a single character with single quotes around it, that's a char literal or character literal. Well, a string literal, that's if you have zero to many characters and you wrap them with double quotes. If that's the case, then what we have is a literal value that we can store into something of string data type. So greeting equals hello, and we have hello inside those double quotes. One of the interesting things that you can do with string literals is you can embed inside of them oh, some, some special characters, some what are called escape sequences. And these are predefined by Java. Some examples, uh, backslash T, if you embed that in your string, that would be a tab character. Uh, backslash N is a new line, for example. Or sometimes you might want to actually embed a double quote inside of your string. And so you could do a backslash double quote. And so that wouldn't close the quote off, but rather just embed that directly. Uh, for example, here we have uh, greeting equals I said, and then we put in backslash quote, hello, backslash quote. So we, we want to really keep those uh, quotation marks there. We don't mean for them to mean the end of the string, but rather truly double quotation, uh, quote marks. Um, and then the next one here, we have a tab. Up above, we have the new line character. So those are legal. Anywhere you have a string, you can embed those characters uh, if you so choose. And if you truly want a backslash, by the way, you can just do double backslash, and that would mean uh, an actual backslash character. So anytime you type in a literal, those become objects, become memory that gets set aside, the, the boxes I was drawing before in the whiteboard area, that, that's what we're getting at. And uh, since those are truly string objects, you could, I suppose, if you wanted to, put a dot immediately after one of those literals and call a method on it. Call the equals method, call the length method, call the two uppercase method. All of those are, are legal to do. It's, it's a little weird looking. Uh, you don't see it that often, but you can. That is okay. Well, then the next thing is, is something that I was alluding to earlier, but I, I may not have been as clear about it as I should have been. So let's give this another try. If you declare two string literals that have the exact same content in them, Java's going to be smart enough to set these up with a, as a single object in memory. So in memory, we have one thing called XYZ that both orig and dupe are going to be pointing to. If, however, we use that new keyword, we said you could use new to declare a string instead of uh, just having the plain old literal. New means you have to have memory allocated. And so other, in this case, would point at a new chunk of memory. So uh, maybe I'll try to draw this up. Let me, uh, I'll attempt to just leave this code visible, but then draw over the top of a little white area to the, to the right. So I'm just going to kind of white out the right side of the screen so I can draw on top of it. So. Um, Let's see, we've got the variable orig, we've got the variable dupe, and the variable other. So three of those. And I want to show what they're pointing to. The first line we said we had a variable orig equal to the literal xyz. Well, so orig points to xyz. Next line, dupe equals xyz. Well, since it's pointing to a, since it's referencing a literal, Java is smart enough not to recreate the literal object, it just reuses it, so both of those point to the same thing. But with the third line with the other equals, well in that case, it's going to actually allocate a new chunk of memory, even though it still has XYZ in it, because we said new, we said new string. And so other is pointing at a different string out in memory. Still the same value. And so if we check to see if the double equal sign does orig equal equal dupe? Yeah, they're the same because they point at the same thing. But do they, does orig equal equal other? No, no they don't because there's pointing at two different chunks of memory. So the compiler gives us that extra little feature where if you're working with literals, it'll reuse them. It doesn't uh, create a new chunk of memory for the same literal value. But if you use the word new string, you'll absolutely get a new chunk of memory declared.